Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech, and today's another mailbag day. We have what it says is LED lights. Now, uh, I've ordered a few LED light type of things, but this is a very small package, so I'm trying to remember exactly what it was that I ordered that was an LED light that would be so tiny. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, mailbag day typically is something that I ordered off of eBay for extremely cheap, probably less than $5, including shipping here to the US. And any of the items that I send, I definitely am going to put in the description below for you to check out. All right, so that's all that's in here, just is this little LED strip. Now, I don't remember ordering such a short LED strip. So whatever I was thinking when I ordered this, I must have uh, not really been paying attention to the length. Now, what's different uh, with this as to other LED strips that I've got is that this appears to be a more there's the LEDs are placed closer together so it does have leads on the end uh, typically you would probably connect this to power um, let's see it doesn't really say anything it's got some shrink tubing over the edge here just to kind of uh, conceal these probably the soldering points um, and where the silicone begins this LED strip does not appear to be, uh, you know, like the other ones, you could cut it at certain points with scissors. Um, this does not appear to have that. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna grab something. There's also debris in the silicone. Um, there's a silicone coating over the top, a silicone bead that protects the LEDs and the uh, solder points from the elements. And the there's, there's debris in the, silicone so this is definitely not higher quality this is much lower quality than the other led strip it does have um uh, 3m adhesive on the bottom of it so let's go ahead and try and connect this to some power and see what happens okay so this is the power adapter that came with the other led strip uh, this is a 12 volt 2 amp output uh, i could plug it in right here i'm plugging it in off camera um, so this may be a little too much power for this LED strip. I would hope that this LED strip can handle it, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. This came with no information, and I even went and checked the purchase link, and it doesn't have any information there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just split the lead wires a little bit, and uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't um, light these up just a bit. 12 volts, I don't really have anything to worry about. Um, hopefully these lights will handle it. Oh, that's what this was. They're lighting up red, and I just, I imagine this being bigger, uh, which is why I didn't remember exactly what this was. I was, I had the Knight Rider in my head for whatever reason, I don't know why, and I was, I looked on eBay and I found an LED strip that this is supposed to go back and forth like Knight Rider, like the front of grill of Knight Rider. So it'll be interesting to see if that indeed happens. Let's see if I could do this in a way where you can see it as I experience it myself here on camera. Let's try and get the power to stay on. Okay, so we've got solid power and it's doing different, oh, there we go. So they're like, okay, so it's doing different things. It's not, it's not the same. It has like a pattern, a chase pattern that it does. So, you know, unfortunately this isn't like Knight Rider. Knight Rider only had kind of a chase back and forth. It didn't do all of these things. So this obviously has some sort of a little controller module in here that is doing all of these different effects. And I just, I don't see a way possible in which you would be able to toggle through those effects. Um, the controller module is probably one of these little chips here underneath the shrink tubing. And I, there's, there's no switches. There's no, there's nothing here that's going to allow me to do anything. So essentially what I would be able to do with this is just wire it in, maybe do a toggle or something like that, and then I can turn power on and then it's just going to do what it's going to do. So I, I don't really know in what instance I would actually use this. Um, you know, I, I was building a kind of a fancy wagon to pull my kids in and it's one of those projects that kind of stalled. 
I had a, a radial flyer wagon and I was going to put oversized tires on it and build some like suspension for it just to kind of make it look like a, a monster truck wagon. Um, and I just never got too far. And now my youngest kid is three and my kids are almost getting too old to ride in wagons. But I could see maybe putting this on the back of the wagon or something would be kind of cool. So if I end up doing that, I'll make sure to come back here and provide a link in the description below um, to the State of Tech website where we'll have some photos. But I, I really don't know because what am I going to, I'm going to tape this and then I have to run this wire to a battery pack or something. Uh, and I have to get 12, you know, probably close to 12 volts to it somehow. Um, I would imagine... I mean, there's maybe something in here that's doing voltage reduction, taking it down from 12 volts, maybe to five or something. I really don't know. All I know is that it is able to power and, and operate off of the 12 volts that's going into it. So I would need to power it with at least 12 volts. Actually, real quick, I'm going to try it with a nine volt. All right, so I'm back with a nine volt battery. Here we've got a nine volt battery with the small terminal being positive and the big one being negative. So we'll go ahead and take the red and hold it up to the positive and hey it runs off of a nine volt battery and it seems to do its entire process uh, it doesn't look as bright as it was so you know that doesn't look as bright as when i had the 12 volts to it let's really quickly just go and we'll go back to the 12 volts that's definitely brighter so the 12 volts is giving it more power it's definitely a little bit brighter than it was with the nine volt, um, but that's to be expected. I mean, 12 volts, and this probably has a bit more current than this, uh, than this does. Let's just one more time go with the nine volt. Yeah, it's definitely more dim than, uh, than it is, but hey, at night, if you turn off the lights or if it's nighttime outside, the nine volt is gonna give it, you know, probably quite a bit of brightness. It's not gonna be as bright as if you went with 12 volts, but it's definitely going to be bright. So I'd be interested to see, and maybe you could even double up 9 volts and go to 9 volts, and uh, as long as there is a voltage, um, you know, some way to reduce the voltage here, the increased power of two 9-volt batteries would give it more strength, and, and who knows, maybe that would give it the amount of power that it would need to be nice and bright. So we'll see. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to have a use for this or not, um, it's definitely, you know, not exactly what I expected, but it could be something fun to accent something with. And if I do end up doing that, I'll make sure to provide a link below or maybe even a follow-up video. So, hey, thanks so much for checking out another mailbag day. It's totally random, uh, and I know that, but it's a lot of fun to be able to look at these things and kind of explore together, try things out, you know, 12 volts work, 9 volt battery, just seeing what works and trying different things. Um, I love, I love geeking out on that stuff, guys. So make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll keep doing these mailbag videos as long as you guys keep liking them. We'll put the links in the description below to these things. Uh, if I could find this on Amazon, I'll also put a link in the description below because chances are if you order it from Amazon, you'll get it much faster than if you order it from eBay. So hey, subscribe to our channel here on State of Tech and we'll see you next time. Thanks.